Longtime Congresswoman Eddie Bernice Johnson had lumbar spine surgery in September. Her family says it went well until she was transferred from Medical City Heart and Spine to Baylor Scott and White Institute for Rehabilitation on Washington Avenue in Dallas, where her son Kirk found her worse than when she arrived. She was being unattended to. She was screaming out in pain and for help. Johnson's son saying his mother was at the facility to advance her recovery, but days after surgery was left lying in her bed, calling for help in her own feces and urine. She went and found some of the nurses and came back and told me that they were in training. A case manager even leaving a voicemail for the family, admitting fault. All I know is um, that her tech that was assigned was with another patient because when I found her and she came to help the other tech, she was like, I'm sorry, I was with another patient. But the damage had already happened, according to a letter sent to Baylor Scott and White signaling an intent to sue for medical negligence on Thursday. It says Johnson was left unattended long enough for the incision on her back to become infected. She was transported back to Medical City for a surgery to clean the wound, then another nursing facility, and then ultimately to hospice, where she passed at the age of 89 on New Year's Eve. And she asked me to uh, pursue a case for her um, weeks ago. Johnson's family did provide some evidence backing their claims, including doctor's notes, tests done after the infection showing traces of feces were found in the wound, and also her death certificate, which indicates she died of osteomyelitis of the spine, a serious bone infection. Johnson is known to be the first registered nurse to serve in Congress, and if the dominoes leading to her death ring true in court, her final moments are cruel irony. Baylor Scott and White Health not commenting directly on the allegations due to patient privacy. They did say, however, that Congresswoman Johnson was a longtime friend who championed the communities that they serve and that they are committed to working directly with her attorney and family members. Chris, Cynthia.